Abnormal flap slats configuration. A320 Mentor Channel. Hello, flight mates. Today's tutorial will be around abnormal flap slats configuration. Without further ado, let's get started. It. Abnormal flaps slats configuration. Causes. Abnormal operation of the flaps and or slats may be due to one of the following problems, double SFCC failure. Double hydraulic failure blue plus green or yellow plus green. Flaps, slats jammed the operation of the wing tip brake. Consequences. Abnormal operation of the flaps and slats has significant consequences since. The control laws may change. The selected speed must be used. An early stabilized approach should be preferred. The approach attitudes change. Approach speeds and landing distances increase. The go-around procedure may have to be modified. Note, the FMS predictions do not take into account the slat or flat failures. Since fuel consumption is increased, these predictions are not valid. Failure at takeoff. Should a flap, slat retraction problem occur at takeoff, the crew will pull the speed knob for the selected speed to stop the acceleration and avoid exceeding VFE. The overspeed warning is computed according to the actual slats, flaps position. The landing distance available at the departure airport and the aircraft's gross weight will determine the crew's next course of action. Now let's dive into all the possible failures of the flaps and slats. The first one will be the failure of the flap system one fault. Contact now departure on one, two, zero, decimal, three, two. Flight controls flap system one fault. Ecam actions. EGPWS flap mode off. Flap mode push button. On, light out, normal position. When selected off, the GPWS flap mode is inhibited which prevents nuisance warnings when landing with other than landing flaps. Off light, illuminates when the flap mode push button is selected off. In the status page, we have Engine 1 approach idle only. This means as the FIDEC of Engine 1 no longer receives a bleed demand correction, only approach idle can be selected. Hence, higher speed, approach idle, is regulated according to aircraft altitude, regardless of bleed system demand. Is selected in flight, when the flaps are extended, flaps lever not at zero position, allows the engine to accelerate rapidly from idle to go around thrust. As well we will have a slow flap action. Now let's see what happens when we have flap system 1 plus 2 fault. In this case, we lost the autopilot plus the auto thrust due to the system no longer being able to receive flap position information. So, fly the aircraft, the thrust lock flashes, thrust lever move, selected speed, bird on, and then ECAM actions. Auto flight. Autopilot off. 
Flight controls. Flaps fault. Max speed 215 knots, because is the maximum for 1 plus F. Flap lever recycle. Fuel consumption increase. FMS predictions unreliable. Auto flight auto thrust off. With the recycling of the flaps, only slats move with a change in pitch attitude. Clear flight controls. Clear auto flight auto thrust off. Status. Approach procedure. For landing use flap 3. GPWS flap mode off. Approach speed V ref plus 15 knots. Landing distance procedure apply. Fuel consumption increase. Engine 1 approach idle only. Engine 2 approach idle only. Increased fuel consumption. FMS predictions unreliable. Cat 1 only. In up systems. Flaps. Autopilot 1 plus 2. Auto thrust. Remove status. Ecam actions completed. Now let's deal with flap lock during arrival. Flight controls. Flaps locked. Alignment fault. Ecam actions. Max speed 215 knots. Fuel consumption increase. FMS predictions unreliable. Clear flight controls. Status. Stop Ecam. No OEBs. No checklist. No computer reset. Read status. For landing use flap 3. GPWS flap mode off. Approach speed V ref plus 15 knots. Landing distance procedure apply. Fuel consumption increase. FMS predictions unreliable. In up systems. Flaps. Remove status. Ecam actions completed. Then, we proceed with the cockpit preparation. Use the Airbus Flight Smart for the runway assessment. Just remember, the V ref is the VLS in configuration full. In this case, the V approach speed will be 144 in flap 3. For landing, we use the longest runway. During the abnormal briefing mention the tail strike awareness for the A320 10 degrees and for the A321 7.5 degrees. As well as brief the QRH landing with slats or flaps jammed. And review the fuel penalty factor. For the approach early stabilize technique. Selected speed V FE next, 5 knots. Activated the approach phase to determine the V approach speed. Don't use the autopilot below 500 feet AGL. And for the go around. Flap retraction between max speed, 10 knots. In this case, initially, 200 knots, retract 1 step to position 2, keep 200 knots, and then retract to 1 and accelerate 230 knots. 2000.
VFE next minus 5 knots. Use the speed table on the front panel. Glide slope star. Go around altitude set. 7,000 feet. 2,500. Gear down. 2,000. Flap 3. Selected speed 144 knots. Do not use the autopilot below 500 feet AGL. Autopilot on. Go around. In this case, accelerate first to max speed minus 10 before go around flaps. Selected speed max speed minus 10 knots. Flap 2. Thrust climb. Gear up. Selected speed 200 knots. Flap 1 and selected speed 230 knots. At any time if the aircraft does not accelerate to the selected speed disconnect the auto thrust and manage the speed manually. So, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial about abnormal flap slats configuration for Airbus A320 family. Stay tuned. See you soon in my next tutorial, thanks for watching the A320 Mentor channel. Fly safe and be safe. Your Captain Mike speaking. Goodbye. A320, Mentor Channel.